Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna work on something on the Super Duty. And what we've got here is we've got all these electrical equipment that I've got in my truck or that I keep in my truck, like my camera system, because I'm always recording, and also my uh, fire lights for my going to fire scenes and everything, since I am a volunteer fireman. And I, I put fire lights in my truck, that way it keeps me safe, hopefully it alerts other people. And I'm gonna show you about the upfitter switches that are on top of this cab and where the wires are and the pass-through wires. We're gonna go through all of that today. And we're gonna wire this stuff up, so let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the hood. I already popped the latch inside, so let's go ahead and open it up and let's see what this power plant looks like. So this is what a 6.7 diesel, turbo diesel looks like. This is the power plant of this new truck I got. And I'm gonna show you where these upfitter switches are. This is the box for the upfitter switches here. We're gonna pull this loose and pull this up and the wire should be tucked up underneath the bottom side of it. Now, this here is the upfitter box. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop these tabs right here, this tab here and this tab here. We're gonna pop it and should be able to just pull it straight up. Yep, there it is. I'm gonna maneuver it out of here. We're gonna see, there's all the upfitter wires right here. This is them. They're all taped up nice and neat. You just gotta pull this tape off of it. And once you get the tape off of it, they should be long enough where you can work with them. Hopefully. But this is the way it comes from the factory. Um, I'm hoping I can show you guys everything about these switches. We're going to see. All right. There should be a ledger on here also. Let me see if I can't find the end of this tape. And start unraveling it. Looks like this is it right here. All right. And here is the ledger. And a lot of people will probably take this off. I'm going to leave it on here because, hey, if it's on here, you know, you always know what to look for. But if you need to read this, I'll, I'll hold it still here for a second so you can get a picture of it. But those are your relay switch wire colors and what they do. I'll try to get all of these to this other side if I can. Put all of this right here on this side. All right, now that we know where all the wires are for the upfitter switches, we're gonna test them. We're gonna see if the wires are therefore like they're supposed to be. And the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna get a, a needle and a clip and a meter. And I'm gonna put the meter on the windshield where I can go around there and flip the switch and see 12 volts. Now this is how I got it set up to test. I've got it just wrapped around the positive here and I got the uh, negative in the battery terminal right here. So we're gonna check it and see if this is gonna work out or not. But the positive is just wrapped around right here on this side. Now on the inside, all I'm gonna do is turn my switch on. Not gonna start it. I'm going to look up here, and this is auxiliary one, and there's my meter right there. I'll blow it up a little bit. So I'm going to flip the switch. I got 12 volts, so I know that's auxiliary one. That's what we want. And here's your switch here. Let's back it up a little bit. Oh, right here, and it turns yellow when you turn it on. 
I'm gonna mark this switch here, number one. I'm just gonna put a piece of tape on it. And I'm gonna, I know this is not electrical tape. I realize that this is just marking it while I'm working on it. But I'm gonna mark that one because I have verified that that is one and that is the brown green. All right, now back to the wire. We're gonna poke this in here like this. Okay, now I'm gonna clip this on here and I'm gonna make sure it's not touching anywhere else. And I'm gonna go inside the cab and I'm gonna see if it's working. Relay three, on off. All right, well this blue green right here is come to find out it's number three. So, I'm gonna get a piece of electrical wire. I'm not gonna use number three. So I'm gonna get a piece of electrical wire tape and I'm gonna tape that up and we're gonna put a marker tape on it. All right, let's, let's get her taped up. Taped up nice. Good enough anyway. And this is number three. So we'll know what three is. Now let's go back to our list. It says that, let's go on and check these other two off. Relay two is violet green. Where is there a violet green? There's a violet red. There's a white brown. That's gray. That's a brown with red stripe. What am I looking for again? Relay to output. Violet green. Surely not this one. No. No way. That is one. There is a violet stripe. There's that gray brown. Is there a gray brown? Gray, brown, relay four. Let's do this gray, orange. That's gray, orange. Relay six. This is relay six. Where is relay two? V-T-O-G. Violet. There it is, right there. That's gotta be it. This has gotta be two. Let's see if this is two right here. Some of y'all probably hollering at me. There's the violet wire, you dummy. Okay, let's go check this one and see if this one is two. All right, now we're on to relay number four. It says G-Y-B-N. I'm assuming that is gray-brown, which is gonna be this wire right here. This one should be relay four. Let's see if this is relay four. I'm gonna test it just like we did all the other ones. We're gonna stick a little needle in it. Just like so. I'm going to clip on to it. Make sure it's out of the way, not touching anything else. I'm going to go turn the power on and see if that's four. Okay, that one is definitely number four. So, 
let's go ahead and put this back with a piece of uh, electrical tape. I'm gonna fix these properly. When I get done, I'll put a piece of uh, heat shrink on them, put them back together. But this one is number four, for, sh for sure. All right, now this one is verified number six. We'll seal these up with some heat shrink here in a little bit. But I'm going to put a six on this right here. Because this is number six. Boy, that is a really crappy six. There we go. There's a six. All right. So what do we have left? So what we have left is we have a brown white wire a red, a brown red wire, a white green, and I don't even know what this little bitty tiny thing is. So let's see what we have. Um, it says that the run start output is a white brown. Brown and white. Brown and white. So brown and white's going to be this right here. This is going to be our run start. Okay. And our green white is PTO output. The brown red is PTO output. And also the brown red is positive 20 volts. So this one should be hot all the time. This one, let's check and see if it's hot all the time. You gotta be careful when you're working on this one because you don't want to touch this battery right here. This would not be good working on this one. Twelve volts, okay. That is definitely 12 volts. And this one here should be ignition on 12 volts. Nothing. Let me go turn the key on. Okay, for anybody who wants to know, upfitter switches in the Ford F-250, they're behind this relay panel by the battery on the passenger side. All right, the brown and green wire is upfitter number one. Your purple and red wire, purple with a red stripe, is upfitter switch number two. Your upfitter switch number three is the blue wire with the green stripe. The upfitter switch number four is gray wire with a brown stripe. Number five is a brown wire with the yellow stripe. And number six is the gray wire with the orange stripe. And it's also got your wiring code on that one. I have verified them and this is what they are. The, the brown with the red stripe is the 12-volt uh, constant, and the brown wire with the white stripe is the ignition on hot wire. And the white green is the hot wire for the uh, PTO. That's for PTO. And I'm not sure what this wire is right here. This little small wire, I really have no idea what this is for. Um, it doesn't say on here 
And I don't know what it is, because this one's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And there's 12 wires here, so. So we'll go like that. But that are your wires there. If you want to know what they are, there they are. All right, what we're going to do here is we're going to start running. We're going to run my camera system. And this is going to go in under the mirror right there. I'm going to place it there, and I'm going to run my wires all the way up through here behind this all the way down down this a pillar inside the dash here and i'm gonna come out underneath here and there is a fuse box under here somewhere so we've got to find that so let's get started on that and see what we got all right inside here got these push pins that's got to come out and there's one here and try to get this out without boogering up anything there's a second one and here is the third one right here and this is the fuse box there's all your different fuses right there imagine that let's get up in there and look at it a little better there's our fuses and here's the question is I can't see where the flip up close so i don't know how i'm gonna hook this up but i'm gonna give it my best shot how to remove a pillar on a f-250 2024 model there's a little bitty hole right there as you can see and you stick something in there small and you pop it out and it pops out just like that and then you can remove the bolts. But remember, it's got a string on it, so don't pull it the whole way down. But that's it. All right, let's pull this out. All right. Remember, there is an airbag in here and a tweeter speaker, so you don't want to mess that up. So we'll unplug this little tweeter, get that out of there. We'll set this up on the dash up here out of the way. But we're going to run our wires. This here, if you don't know, this is a hose for the sunroof. And that lets the water out when the water gets in it. And water's going to get in your sunroof always. But we're going to run our wires through here, the same path that this hose is running. So we're going to see if we can't get them through there. I think it's going to be easier to come from the bottom up through here. But I'm gonna go get a rod and a piece of tape. What I have here is an old, this is an old fish tape. It's fiberglass, so there's no con conductivity. So I don't have to worry about tearing up any wires because everything is rounded on it right here. But I'm gonna use this to pull up my my wire and i'm gonna push it down through here it's kind of like a lot of people use coat hangers and uh kind of like a coat hanger but not not exactly the same we're gonna get it up in here and see what we can do with it actually i think i'm gonna try to go up from the bottom i think i'll have better luck that way Well, maybe not. Maybe let's go through here. There we go. That's a good pull right there. All right. That'll go right up through there now. Get us a roll of tape. And then we'll tape this wire on here. We'll pull it up. Nice and slow. We're not in that big a hurry. I never do anyway.
All right, so let's pull this up through here. There we go. That's it. Put this over here. All right, now it's time to get our get our camera and figure out where we're going to mount it. All right, this is the camera that I'm going to mount. This is a Van True camera. I had been using this in my raptor for a long time and it works great i really like the camera and it takes good good video going up and down the uh, highway and the road and i use it just in case i see something cool you know i gotta post it or if something happens in a traffic violation or traffic jam or or i get hit by somebody or even if i hit somebody i guess um i'll have video of it and i'll be able to go back and figure out what happened and maybe even help, you know, the investigators check it out. But I'm going to go ahead and get started by hooking this up and figure out where I'm going to place it. Finally got my camera hooked up and these are the fuses that I used. Let me see if I can get that to focus in a little better. But anyway, you'll see how I got it hooked up on those two fuses there. And uh, I got one is one is a positive battery and the other one is an accessory and you want it where when you turn it on your camera comes on here's the final placement of my camera go ahead and focus in on that and we will turn it on and you'll see when you turn the truck on it comes on now we're ready to go and when you turn the truck off the camera goes off now the good part about this system is is when uh, somebody bumps into the truck or anything like that the camera starts working and you can see the uh, back camera is right there it's already hooked up ready to go all right, now we're fixing to hang these uh, STL. These are fire lights. I'm going to clean all the dust off of them before I hang them, but we're going to hang them up on the visors. They go on the visors on the inside, and I'm going to show you how they hook up. All right, the way these lights hook up is they go up underneath this, uh, this visor right here. Th these little metal brackets I actually bought from stl they fit i bought them for a 2018 uh ford raptor but they seem to work on this uh ford f-250 also but they go right underneath it so it doesn't screw into your headliner or anything it just works it works pretty good and then lights you know they attach to the lights all right i got my wires all battened back together. I snapped this back down in here like it's supposed to go. There's the wires going through the firewall there. We'll go to this side. And you can see underneath here, I got everything hooked up. Here's my wire here for the, uh, the lights on top. This is the lights on top. This is the way they look. All there, all the wiring, everything is done. So it's time to see if they come on. 
basically we gotta turn the truck on and turn this there they are see what they look like that looks good let's close the hood we don't need it anymore there they go right there that looks pretty good All right, guys, that's a wrap for this video. Uh, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. I'm sure we'll be luring lots more to this truck as we go. I've got uh, lights that are gonna go on the sides down here at the bottom. And also I've got lights that are gonna go in the back. So I've got all that coming. And uh, the lights on the sides, they're already in. I got a bed cover coming. We're gonna put that on. We've got uh, things to go into the uh, ratchet straps to go in on the beds in here. I think it's a box link system, but we're going to go ahead and hook that up. And, of course, the uh, lights that are going to go on the side down here, and that's going to help keep everything safe. So uh, please like and subscribe and come back for more if you like it. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.